Hey y'all. Okay, how you doing? Well, as you can see, I'm finna um shit, pull in, get my car washed, get these damn bugs off my windshield. That's why I, I, I can't do the country. <laughs> I'm from the country, but man, bugs, bugs all over my car. I did a um turn around trip to Dallas Monday to take care of some business. And um yeah, driving through them little country towns and stuff and maybe yeah. So just a again random video. I did a video before this, a live video at home asking you guys for you know topic ideas and stuff. I haven't even looked at it yet, but I will. So that way it'll give me some topics to talk about this week. I'm gonna try to um get some more videos done this week. But this is just a random just to say hey. Um, since I've been doing live, like I said before, live is getting more views than these, my random rambling videos because, I, well, you know, I don't know why, but I love live better because it's uploading, I don't worry about it because when I get the recording this, I got to wait till I get on the Wi-Fi and then watch it and make sure it's uploading and then it takes forever, so yeah. So anyway, just want to come on and just say, hey, and just, you know, talk a little bit about I always say like you got to stay ready you got to um do stuff that going that's going to make you feel good um just simple stuff because i was trying to figure out what i'm doing with my hair that was getting on my nerves because y'all know me i would cut it so i'm trying to grow it out so i just put it back in the little ponytail put a little makeup on so um something just a little something something again to make me look ready to make me feel better because again when you look good you feel good i mean i'm, I'm okay I, you know i'm not sick or anything but you know it's getting to the point now it's like i don't know, I feel like i'm missing something you know all i do is nails again i'm not I'm not complaining that's my business that's my love i love that but it's like that's that's it nails to the house nails to the house pass up everything go home so it's like you know what i got to act like i'm retired <laughs> That's my new motto. Girl, you know you retire, right? You can do wherever, go wherever. You know? And I don't do anything. But like, like I said, but nails, which is, again, I'm not complaining. Nails, a lot of research. A lot of research. A lot of research. Um, I haven't talked about it here, but I just thought about it on my Instagram. A lot of folks don't have Instagram, so that's why I tell myself also to come on here and talk to you guys about what's been going on because a lot of you guys say you don't have Instagram. But if you want to keep up with me, what I'm doing, it'll be on Instagram. But basically, yeah, I've, um, you know, just, I'm working with this um, company called Bio Seaweed Gel. It's a, um, it's a hard gel, gel polish company. And I am one of their brand ambassadors. They have a total of, I think it's, um, yeah, 32 of us now. So, yeah, I'm a brand ambassador. That means a lot of good stuff. So again, I'm, I've been really busy with that. Notifications on my phone going off. There's certain things I have to do every day, every day for the company. So um, really excited about that. Really, really excited about that. A lot of great possibilities into that. Um, I'm getting ready to sign up. I have to do a um a, a training course so I can you know know more about their um their products and. I, like I'm just so honored and so excited to be a part of a great company and of course you know I get stuff to review and yeah it's just a lot it's just a lot I've been doing with that company so um yeah that's what I've been doing with that um and that, basically that's all I've been doing you know that's it nails reviewing stuff and researching stuff but um what I was saying was you know I've talked about it several times before but I'm, I'm gonna talk about it again ladies we have to put ourselves first that's the only way we have to put ourselves first do what makes us happy 
and I've said this a hundred times, disclaimer, when you have little bitty kids and, and babies and stuff like that, of course your kids come first. But when your kids get older and they can start they can start, you know, doing stuff for themselves, especially when they get to the teenager, you know, it's time for, for you to like, okay, well, you hungry, but I ain't feel like cooking today. So I bought a lot of food, there's stuff in there. You need to learn how to go in and cook you something. Going to learn how to cook you some smothered potatoes, some french fries. Put some chicken nuggets in the oven, something. You know, I, I'm not saying don't ever cook with your family again, but your kids, but make sure they have a good hot meal. But teach them how to start doing some of that stuff for themselves. Because we get so overwhelmed being mothers, being wife, you know, business owners, just going to work nine to five, trying to do your little side hustle, trying to, you know, keep yourself looking good so you can, you know, look good, you feel good, and then that, that shit, will, it'll get overwhelming. Trust me, I know. So you have to, um, again, start putting yourself first. And, you know, I don't know what's going on. Again, it's going to be all over the place with these kids, these girls missing. Started off in D.C. Now I think it's in Charlotte, North Carolina. Somewhere kids are just coming up missing. They fucking taking them, them babies' um, organs or they sex slaves or something. So they got me getting up in the morning, she don't take long and back to the bus stop because she's walking to the bus stop now she's older. But still, when she leave now with the time change, it's fucking dog outside. So I've been getting up, taking her, you know, you know, breaking my sleep. But again, my baby, you know, her safety, you know, of course, come first. So I said that to say that, you know, even if you have boys, especially if you have girls, you got, watch, watch your babies. Watch them, you know, make sure they get to school from school safely if you can't be there to do it you know if it's a long long walk or whatever i don't know just it's find a way for them to, for them to get there safely just find a way for them to get to school safely i'm i gotta get to the shop here it's almost one o'clock and i'm in the house doing makeup and at the store and washing the car and pumping gas and stuff so yeah <laughs> yeah, I just I just lost track of time. I just realized after twelve o'clock in Maria. But anyway, um, yeah, again, it's all over the place. But stay ready, ladies. Do something for yourself. You have to take time to say, okay, well, you know, this is my time. I'm I'm gonna start doing, going to get my nails done every two weeks. I'm going to have a standing appointment at the nail shop just to get a pedicure or just to get a manicure. Have somebody to talk to. And I miss that because, you know, my clients, I have a lot of clients that come faithfully. Even though they don't have, they don't need anything done to their nails, that's they, my time. It's their time. I come down and just sit down and, you know, wait for me to sp spark up conversation. Or they'll spark up the conversation and watch TV, listen to music. That's their time. And I really appreciate that. And, you know, I was saying to myself, you know, I don't, I, I don't, I do my own nails, of course. I don't have nowhere to go where I can just, okay, it's, this is my time to get my nails done. I do my own feet because I'm too particular. And then again, you know, it's hard to find a good find a good person to do your feet. You know, not only good, but, you know, sanitation-wise, you know. So I just I do my own feet, do my own damn hair. So it's like... I, mean, I can't even sit down and talk to, talk to another girl, lady while they're doing my hair. I, I, I do my own hair. Again, I said all over my beautician that I don't I want to start all over again looking for somebody, but I'm going to have to because I'm going, you know, from ponytail to quick weave, and I'm trying to stay away from the quick weaves with that glue. So in, you know, they took my hair out the last time, and, you know, and it's like go get some more cornrows or whatever. So, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't have nobody to talk to as far as, you know, my time, my time. So you have to make time, find time to, you know, go somewhere, you know, talk to somebody, go shopping, learn about makeup, whatever. Learn you a hobby, learn you a craft, and start doing stuff for yourself. So that's what I'm trying to do. Start making time for myself. Because if I'm not happy, you know, the whole household going to be on the edge because I'm walking around always mad. And, I'm, you know, it's time for me to start putting myself first. So why did I say all of that? I don't know. I, I guess I just need to get that off my chest and again just doing more random trips. Like I got on Monday, no clients had booked and I had told them I need I need you guys to start giving me an advance notice. If I don't hear from you at that night, that next morning I'm getting up and I'm making plans. Nobody booked, so I got up and I said, you know, I'm definitely trying. I drove to Dallas. I just drove. 
I know I, I actually I was going to go to the gallery here in Houston. I'm like, man, same. I've been there 900 times. I'm like, Dallas got the gallery, right? So I just started driving. I, I made it to Dallas. Turned around, came back before the traffic got heavy. Stopped and ate. Walked, you know, looked at looked at the blue bunnies on the side of the road, and you know, just looked at old houses and cows and horses and. Just drove, enjoy myself, have my music up loud, nobody in the car to tell me, turn it down, why you listen to that music, why you listen to that old ratchet music, why you listen to that, by myself, or kill it, loud, whatever I wanted to listen to, loud, ratchet music, loud, just, just what I wanted to do, so yeah, that's what I did, so, yeah, you're responsible for your own happiness, you can't sit back and, and wait for nobody to do anything with you or for you. Hey, you gotta do it yourself. You gotta, you gotta get, get up, do it yourself. You ain't got nobody to go with you. Instead of begging and asking, do go by yourself. That's what I do. So anyway, that's all I want, y'all. Again, just random, random video, just again to remind you guys, like I'm trying to, again, remind myself, I always stay ready. Keep your ponytail in, keep some in, keep your eyebrows arch, you know, do keep yourself ready. So when you get up and say, you know what, I'm bored today, let me take a little road trip. Gas up your car and you just go. Especially if you if you can go, go. Like I said, I don't what's stopping me. I ain't got no balls, I ain't got to put in no annual leave slip, I ain't got to ask no permission. Just go. Let somebody know where you at, of course, in case something happened to your ass and just go. I might name this this video just go so um yeah so let me just go let me get my ass to the shop don't your car seem to drive so much better when it's clean don't it it seems to drive so much better when it is freshly washed let me lean back a little bit yeah so um I've seen this video. I can listen to some R. Kelly really fast before I get to my shop. I love you guys. And again, thanks for always supporting my videos, clicking on whenever I, you know, hit live or upload it. I really appreciate you guys. So I will be looking at the topics on the other video prior to this and start doing some more videos throughout the week. Love you guys. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. I'll holler.